is the 30th annual Chicago River Cleanup. It's a chance for you to pitch in and keep the river moving towards a better future. I'm joined now by Margaret Frisbee, the executive director of Friends of the Chicago River. Good morning to you. Good morning, Elizabeth. Thanks for being with us this morning. So let's talk about your organization, Friends of the Chicago River. Uh, this is not probably the only day that you try to clean up the Chicago River. How long have you guys been around and, and what's, what's the, the reason behind this? Yeah, so Friends of the Chicago River was founded in 1979 because the river was fenced off and polluted and a whole group of people really thought it needed help and it's the center of our community. So they founded Friends to clean up the river and give it to people and to wildlife. What's the health of the river like now? Well, you know, the river has dramatically improved. In the 1970s and 80s, on average, there was sewage in the river every three days. And now the river is alive with people and wildlife. The water quality is really good, and we are working really hard to make it perfect. So um, you guys have been doing this a while, right, this, this annual day of cleanup. What is, what's typically uh, the response? Do you get a lot of people out there? Is there enthusiasm behind it? Yeah, well, so Chicago River Day was founded in 1992. So as you said, it's our 30th anniversary. And we started with 25 volunteers at one location. And today, we're, this, this year, we're actually expecting over 2,500 volunteers <gasps> at 77 locations. What? So it is a ton of people all up and down the river system. It's really an exciting That's event. That's great. How does it work? Do people get in the river or do they kind of clean up the banks? <laughs> Well, you know, that's a great question. Actually, they're on the river in canoes, and so people are picking up trash from the riverbank, from the river itself. They're in parks, they're in forest preserves, all over the place. So it's really on the water, on the banks, and, you know, in adjacent lands, because litter can blow into the river from pretty far away. Sure, of course. Uh, and let's just talk about what fun things. we not, not only can we clean it up, but we can do fun things on the river too, right? Yeah, absolutely. The river is so different. I mean, if you're downtown, you see people in kayaks, there's people fishing. There's, I mean, frankly, people swim in the river. I've seen kids in the North Branch splashing around, but it's a lovely place to go to recreate, just to hang out, you know, the Chicago River Walk with restaurants. But it's just, a, it's become a center of community, which it really did not used to be when it was so polluted and fenced off. Let's talk about the wildlife, the fish that have returned since your, all of your hard work. Well, you know, that's one of the things that we're so proud of is that the river system is so much healthier that it used to be that there were about seven to 10 species of fish in the river. And now with all the water quality improvements, habitat that's been installed, we now see as many as um, nearly 80 species of fish and we're seeing American eels and banded killifish, you know, fish that are really need good water quality to thrive. And we're seeing more and more every single year. That's great. Okay, so let's talk about next weekend's event. It's on Saturday, correct? Can, do you still need people to sign up? Yeah, absolutely. We're encouraging people to come sign up, go to chicagoriver.org, our website, and you can just click through to sign up. And there's a map that shows locations and some of them are actually already sold out, as it were. Of course, it's a free event and you get a t-shirt if you come, but we're hoping for people at Big Marsh on Chicago South Side. We've got you know locations in the forest preserves, north and south, and we really want as many people as possible to come out and roll up their sleeves and get involved. And maybe a day of hard work will help us appreciate it that much more, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, no, it feels good. You really see the change and it makes you realize you're part of a broader community who's doing good for our natural environment, which helps people and wildlife. That's great. Margaret Frisbee, Executive Director of Friends of the Chicago River. Thanks for being with us this morning. Appreciate your time. Our Thank pleasure. You. Thank you.